Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Evil Genius with me, Framework 20, where we last left off. We were about to complete the active infamy and finally start the end of this game, because hopefully I'll have a bit more of an army this time. And yes, I will get the snipers before I forget. Uh, or just choose not to. Right, so first things first, who's on the island as of right now and do I care? I don't. Just a bunch of bodies. You're breaking this, aren't you? You little son of a... Well, at least you're poor saboteurs. Nope, still on their way. Almost have tempted to bring Jubai over just to eliminate them all. We're not for the fact that we have no room left in the freezer room because they keep filling the place up with bodies. Good, we're all here. So I was going to do double double oil travel. No oil seed inferno. Regional operatives have discovered that the world's single largest shipment of oil seed is being assembled in a series of storehouses within the region. This allows for the perfect demonstration of the of the ultimate criminal force. By liberally applying an advanced chemical compound to the stores, the oil seed will be incinerated in place, leaving food manufacturers around the globe short on product, forced to pay super inflated prices for our own oil seed brand. Super seed ye oils. It's a horrible, horrible pun, and you should feel bad. Congratulations, I care not who you are. I almost have tempted just to murder you outright, because I can't complete the mission already. Look, look at the, all the missions I cannot complete. Option. So we have you, we have you down there. I only need to keep them online for a short amount of time anyway. Can I? No. Can I do anything? No. Ooh, Matron, Miss Matron, Miss Matron, go stab him in the face. Who's been naughty then? You have to be cruel to be cruel. I am already dead? Miss Matron, you've lost your touch. Hello, Nelcastil. Welcome to the Continental News with me, Lucia de Gama, broadcasting live from Rio. The region has been rocked today by reports that the evil organization Mysteriosa has struck in Latin America. Much has refused to comment on the incident, causing many to doubt whether they are really able to protect our territory. Sweet. We get more henchmen. No, we only get one henchman choice. Well, oh. interesting. We'll go recruit Mr. Barracuda. Immediately. Shouldn't have left with those workers that I sent down there to the oil seed infernal, but... Oh well. We'll recruit Mr. Barracuda. We didn't get the more minions that I wanted, but what we did get... I don't care if an account is leaving the island with false info. Online operations. Saber hates our guts. Why do you hate us so much? Oh yeah, we're about to acquire a henchman. That's probably going to make you all angry. Oh well. Alright, fine. We'll move you out of here and shove you here so you can start losing heat early. Wow, every nation in the world hates my guts right now. Oh, I was wondering where this other agent is hiding. Seems to be a lot of saboteurs. Anyway, I'm going to have to consider, considering I didn't get the capacity ride, hike, I might just build the giant barracks. 
fact, I will build the giant barracks, because the giant barracks is probably going to be a lifeline for me. So the barracks is going to be X long by X long, because I honestly don't care for size at this point. I have no sense of... Oh wait, I can't afford it, can I? No, I can. It's going to cost a quarter of a hundred thousand, uh, twenty-five thousand, but alright. Should be a little less lopsided. Yeah, as you can see, I can't count. I'm going to shove a standard door. Object has been ordered. And I'm going to drop a security loudspeaker on both sides. And the entire point of this room will be lockers. Object has been ordered. Guess what? It's going to look like an Object actual barracks. Who would have thunk it? Realize how expensive this is probably going to be. Object has been ordered. And this isn't actually properly designed at all. But I'm just going to fill out the rest of the place with lockers anyway. Object so I don't care enough to fix any issues. Object has been ordered. So yeah. Object order confirmed. You're going to learn to love the sound. I don't even know how many minions this is going to be. I'm not even counting at all. If it somehow works out to be something good, fine by me. Let's see, who hates us? You do. Let's make you hate us even more. Eli Barracuda, the notorious kingpin of New York underworld, has caught wind of our evil doings. His ruthlessness towards his enemies is tempered by his great charisma he shows to those he beats. A crack shot with a pistol, this is definitely someone we should consider having on our side. Ooh, I'm uncatchable. Ooh, KYC News! This is Atlantic 808 with news from your state. The police commissioner of New York today called up the search for Eli Barracuda, the criminal wanted on suspicion of the mayor's murder. Barracuda has been hiding for many weeks now and has remained elusive despite a high-profile investigation. The commissioner concluded that Barracuda has moved on. Eli was born in the slums of New York, a place where larceny and murder are as common as really big hair. For a child growing up in this lawless social social depravity, there were two possible career choices, cadaver or ghetto badass. Eli chose the latter. It became clear to those around him that he was going to be something special in the criminal underworld when, aged just nine, he ran his first protection racket at his school. Eli quickly became an uncontested local crime lord, ruling his den of inequity with an iron fist. Within a few years, Eli was widely regarded to be the unofficial king of New York City. Eli has all the cronies down at City Hall in his pocket. That was until one fateful day the mayor spilled coffee on Eli's prized green suit. Eli blew his top and then proceeded to blow the top off the mayor. Even Eli couldn't cover this one up and has been forced to retreat with the murky shadows of the underworld as his criminal organization has been exposed to an intense failure of investigation. Special abilities. Super headshot. Taking careful aim with his revolver, Eli can deal some serious damage with one shot. Ghetto Posse. Eli's Ghetto Master pumps out funky sound with encoded hypnotic beats, making agents voluntarily dance along following Eli. This ability may fail if the target has high loyalty. Okay. That's my rendition. And I'll figure out... Oh gosh. Pause, 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 pause. You're a saboteur.
You are a smash thief. Oh. <laughs> we'll just use some voodoo work. Voodoo. And we'll start killing these people off. It Ooh, is nice to meet you. Mr. Barracuda, you've got an objective behind you. All right! Oh. I feel good. Oh, gosh. Well, I can see the jokes coming from this one if I ever get popular enough to be warrant to warrant these jokes. Time to funk, baby. Right. Bust you up. Oh god. Uh, at least you level up quickly. At least. Mr. Barracuda. What do I do with you? Anyway. So, we are now constructing the biggest room yet. And you're making me more than enough money to compensate for the room in its entirety. Almost every minute I've got enough to build a giant equipment rack. So yeah, we're gonna see how many minions we can get out of this. And see how ridiculous it becomes later. I'm not even using the front wall, so... Be do I know this is at least 20 minions, so... <laughs> yeah, things are either going to pick up really quickly, or I'm an idiot and it doesn't let me go past 200, 100. However, I know that's a load of BS, because I did that in my, one of my previous games, and that is what messed me up. And let notoriety get too high, and I had to deal with John Steele before I had enough minions to do anything about him. Oh gosh, I can see the minions lining up already. To, oh. <laughs> go, go, go. I can still as many gyroscopic plasma inducers as I feel like, but alright. So acquiring Mr. Barracuda seemed to have no effect on my notoriety. Hmm. Right. So, what are my choices for snipers? Four workers, three guards, and a mercenary. Or eight guards. I think I'm going to go with military sniper of Europe. Okay, so the only reason I don't have more beds is because clearly these people don't actually need the beds. Oh, are they on their way? Yes, they are on their way. And here comes the march. Let's see what gets built first. You're just a thief. We can murder you later. My capacity isn't rising, and that might be an issue. It's almost 100% certain that I can go past 100. Unless, in the unpatched version of the game, it doesn't let you do that. Which is silly. Because I know for a fact that there's a glitch associated with it, where people will just stop researching if you get above 100 minions. Nope, I am... Wrong, wrong, wrong. I can't go above a hundred minions, apparently. So I just built that entire room for nothing. Go me! Right, what time is it? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look this up. Because I'm almost 100% certain I'm supposed to be able to go past a hundred minions. I'll let these guys finish. I've already built the place, so why not? 
Anyway, hope you've all enjoyed this set. This has been Brainboy Twenty with Let's Play Evil Genius. I'm signing off.